Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think that we, as adults, we get uh, used to certain terms and uh, certain situations, and we don't question them anymore. We don't ask, hey, wh why is this again like this? Wait, 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 time out. Why is it like this? We just, you know, take many, many notions and many situations in the world and in our lives as a given. And from time to time, you might realize that things that you were just, uh, you know, accepting are there, but you actually, you would not agree with them. Okay? Let me give you an example. We have the United States of America. Let's go to the orange, orange, to the origin. United States of America is just another country. Legally, it's just another country. Well, if you realize that, then you might start asking questions. So, it's just as, how should I put it, is equal in front of the law by United Nations with Zimbabwe, my friends, the same. So, when United States says something, says something, Zimbabwe should have the same voice. So, no, countries would take that into consideration the same way. I'm talking about in general. Now you can say, well, the United States is part of the you know, United Nations Security Council. Yeah, with some other countries in there, okay? So, all right. But it's still not, how should I put it? Um, she's not voted as a leader of this planet. So, let's say something happens in Burundi. And then you hear, United States... Uh, tells uh, whomever in Burundi to take it easy, otherwise he's gonna punch uh, that guy in the face. He's gonna just send the uh, Marines over there. And now, who the hell are you? Again, you're just another country. Imagine that Zimbabwe will say, you know what, Burundi? If you don't do that, we're gonna intervene militarily over there. How would the Americans look at Zimbabwe? What? Smack. So we get complacent? with the, something that is not there. So when you hear the United States has concerns with something happening in another country, beat it. The problem is the United States is one of the countries, I would say the only country on this planet, that has security concerns, national security concerns, wherever they say they have it. So let's say Argentina has a problem, the United States can declare that what's happening in Argentina, that's a national security threat. Therefore, I mean, they can decide that. Therefore, they have to intervene somehow. But Zimbabwe cannot do the same thing. Why is that? United States can determine and say that he, his national interests are, you know, endangered wherever they want. Logical or illogical claims. Now, what do we have here? We have a problem with Syria. Syria is an independent sovereign country that a civil war started. Censorship time, self-censorship. Just an, uh, It was a spontaneous fight for liberty and democracy against the tyrannical uh, leadership of uh, uh, Assad. Did I pass the test, YouTube? I think so. Anyway, so now let's go back to what I want to say. You know exactly what I want to say. Now, this country, Syria, has an opposition that was armed and tried to overthrow these guys for the good reasons, you know, love, democracy, freedom. The same ones why somehow United States decided that they should intervene in Iraq because if Zimbabwe wanted to intervene, that would have been bad. But United States wanted to intervene, it was A-OK -okay because it was a name of freedom and democracy and weapons of mass destruction that... <laughs> anyway, so let's go back to this one. Syria is independent, Syria is sovereign. Has US troops on its territory without the uh, uh, invitation of the Syrian legitimate government, legal government. So that is illegal, by definition. Why is United States allowed? Well, we got used to this. Well, we shouldn't get used to this. We should uh, voice our concern and our disagreement with that. Because if you can do that, then anybody else can do that to someone else. <coughs> but somehow, Russia cannot do that. Only we can do it. We. 
not we, they. Okay. Again, another misconception. They say we, the United States, we're going to bring this and we'll do this, United States. No, it's you who say that. Because you didn't ask me if I agree with that. And you do not represent me in saying that. Because you don't know if I, I want or not. All right. So let's go to this article where the United States, again, somehow has the inserts its tail in something that he has nothing to do with. U.S. does not believe Syria deserves, according to U.S., readmission to Arab League at this time. State Department says, my question is, who the fuck cares? Who are you? Well, again, we agree the United States is in a position to make this statement. I don't think it should be. All right. On the contrary, to have, you have illegal troops in that country but does not believe Syria deserves to readmission Arab League. Is U.S. part of the Arab League? Uh, is it? I don't remember them being part of it, members. At this time, so whenever we decide, whenever uh, Syria uh, check marks all the, uh, all, everything on the list, we give them. And uh, does not believe, oh, well, you can have an opinion, but we don't give a damn about your opinion. How about that? As we wouldn't give an opinion if, let's say, France would say something, or right? Burundi, or even my friends from Zimbabwe would say, Zimbabwe does not believe Syria deserves readmission to Arab League at this time. Zimbabwean State Department says. How do you think that statement would have been received in the world? And then you say, but why? Why would that be a ridiculous claim by the Zimbabwean State Department? Because the state somehow is, can say this. It's like, Nobody asked you about the uh, Arab League. Who are you? Are you an Arab? I don't remember you being in the Middle East unless, unless you have the military occupying uh, territories. It's unbelievable, my friends. It's like someone from, I don't know, like, uh, let's say Xi Jinping of China says, you know what? We got a problem with uh, the, um, the, what was that? The organization of, in, in the Americas. We, we, we don't think that the United States should be the organizer as it was last year in uh, California. I don't think they should organize that. The Americas or something like that. The conventions of America in Americas, something like that. People will look at, what? Are you, are you crazy, Xi Jinping of China? Okay. But anyway, somehow we got used to these guys being given by, by definition by convention, that they can say this thing. Yes, yes, I don't think the Americans agree. Uh, um, they, they think that Syria should not be part of the Arab League. What? Go and take care of your little continent over there and leave me alone. No. So let's see. And I, I'm quoting. Do, we, we do not believe, no, you do not believe that Syria merits a readmission to the Arab League at this time. Patel said during a press briefing, well, you guy, you one person and your little department that you represent and therefore you represent the, all the American people, right? The US will not normalize relations with the Assad government. All right, you have that right. I, you, that's definitely a, a true statement. Absent authentic progress towards a solution to the conflict in the country, Patel said. Well, if you take your troops out, disarm those guys, and maybe uh, there would be a, uh, again, a little peace uh, conversation over there. You know what I mean? Some negotiations, maybe something would, but <laughs> no, they don't want Assad. They want influence over there. The U.S. stresses the regional part partners engaged with the Syrian government that their engagement should focus on improving humanitarian conditions in the country. Yeah, earlier th this week, Syrian President Bashar Assad met with Saudi Foreign Minister Faisal bin Farhan al Saud in Damascus to discuss ways to resolve the conflict in Syria and achieve normalization in of relations between Syria and the Arab world. Last week, Foreign Minister from six member states of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Gulf, United States as doesn't have territories there yet, as well as Egypt, Iraq and Jordan met in Jeddah to discuss the possible return of Syria to the Arab League. That's their thing. That's their neighborhood. After its membership was suspended in 2011, that was the, when that thing was uh, spontaneously started due to the outbreak of civil, civil war in the country. 
It was so civil that they killed one another. That's how civil they were. And uh, ones were sponsored by some and the other guy said, hey, we need help. We got now ISIS here. Where is ISIS coming from? <coughs> no, 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 It comes from, um, uh, from what I know, I learned from Al-Qaeda a little bit. Al-Qaeda come from the Mujahideens from Afghanistan and who sponsored those guys again? Anyway, so sometimes you have to recalibrate, you know, the things that we just take as granted, we accept as you know, we're given. They're not a given. We have to step back a little bit and rethink, hey, w w wait a minute, who the hell are you to talk? Here's nothing. You know what they got? Ch -ch -ch. That's what they got. Bigger than yours. But then they cry, uh, uh, you know, international law and the rule-based, uh, uh, oh yeah, ro world order, yeah, all right. Do not, uh, okay, that's, you have to respect the independence of sovereignty of, okay, and hey, you, all right, okay, stay down, all right. Is that how it is? Well, you tell me, my friends. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.